What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 75 of Onshape. Now, what we're doing today is continue on with our carabiner pin, which is a wonderful exercise so far, utilizing a lot of different features within Onshape. We're going to do one that I haven't seen, haven't done yet, and that is manipulating this ribbon on this left side, this browser on the left side, to make most use of our current efforts. So rather than reusing or rather repeating a lot of the geometry we've already made, we're going to reuse it to make our hinge here. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our hinge, and this is where you should be at this point with me, is we're going to find sweep. That sweep profile we did to create the clip, what we're going to do is repeat that. So I'm going to double click on sweep, and I notice that it has sketch 11 and 12 in there. I'm going to make those active again. We're going to click on sweep. Profiles to sweep is going to be those two profiles right there, or one if you put a construction line with the path all the way through. Now it's not going to be an add, it's going to be a new. And I know there's going to be some overlapping geometry, but this is a really cool feature called Boolean. And I just think it's got a funny name. It's a funny math operation. But Boolean allows you to use existing 3D geometry in reference to other 3D geometry. Or a fancy way of saying, using our clip as a tool to cut out the hinge. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract. The tool we're going to use is the clip. The target is going to be part five for me. I haven't named it yet. And then we hit the green check mark. I have keep tools as already selected so your clip shouldn't disappear, but we can go ahead and then hide our other sketches. So sketch 11 and 12 for me. That way they're not in my way. Here's where we can get a little smart with it. So Boolean and Sweep are at the bottom of this, this browser. I'm going to go ahead and just drag sweep up to the boolean operation first one and then you notice if we drag up the boolean 2 it will make edits based upon the browser so i went up too far on that browser so we're going to go a little bit further down and we're going to go see to about what point does it look like the hinge is missing the geometry we want it to miss and this looks pretty good so for me it was beneath extrudes 9 10 11 but before delete part Okay, and that's it. All I had to do was just move that Boolean in the browser to where those operations would be appropriately affected. And so if we did too far, I think there's gonna be some other geometry in there we won't want, like this piece right here. We don't want that, so we're just gonna move it back up. Oh, a little too far, there we go. Okay, looks good to me. I know there's one extrusion here where we cut out the hole for our hinge pin. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit that now. So instead of that merge scope being just the clip, it's going to be the clip and the hinge. Look at that. Looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and rename this. And all I need to do is edit some other geometries, but we're not gonna do it with making a sketch or at least too many other sketches. So let's go ahead and make this clip inactive. And I'm gonna do what's called move face. So let's make the other parts inactive too. I'm going to take this face, which we've just created using that bully operation, and we're gonna move it upwards. It's gonna be a distance of, I think, 0. One, uh, I think it's 0 0.075. Yep, 0 0.075. Now, if you look at the hinge, it does have some rounded edges to it, so we're actually going to fill it. This edge down here, and these two edges out front. Be very cognizant of how you're selecting those edges. And then, I think that rounded edge looks pretty good. Let's bring our clip in. I think everything looks really, really good, except for the problem we got is there is no carving 
or no space for our spring to inlay on the hinge. That's the only piece we gotta do, and then we're done, or at least with the hinge so far. So, let's do that. Let's do a sketch. We're gonna do a sketch on the inside face of that channel, and then before we do anything else, we're gonna use that geometry. So we're gonna hit Use, Project. We're gonna project all of those corners on that face. And we are gonna run into an error code here. And this is an error code I'm gonna teach you how to get around. So we got, it looks like we got everything except for that final edge. Okay, if I make the clip inactive, we can see this is a completed profile, looks good. We just want this path to continue all the way around, so we're gonna use mirror. We're gonna mirror, this is our mirror line. And then our entities to mirror would be this. Hit the green check mark and we're okay. Now, if we try to remove and this is going to be 0 0.02. It's going to be flipped the other way. If we try to remove this middle portion right here, we run into a geometry error. And that's because this little lip here actually isn't part of our profile that we're cutting out. So let's make that edit. So let's go to sketch 15 where we just were at. Hit view normal sketch plane and let's increase... All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag out and increase the profile to remove. You could trim this up if you really, really want to, but we don't have to. So let's go back to extrude 15 and remove both of these profiles. And it'll remove that little bit of a peak you get there. So sometimes when you get a failed result due to Boolean geometry, that means you are trying to divide by zero or trying to remove something that is already being removed. It gets a little difficult when you talk about the math part of it. The easiest way to fix that is to take your profile and overshoot it. That way, you know for sure everything's being deleted only once. Okay. Looks good to me. Let's move this face up though, because this, this spring sits much higher up on this clip. So let's hit move face. And I believe that distance is going to be, let's move it up the rail. That's gonna be 0 0.3. And that looks really good to me. I don't know about you guys, but that looks pretty sweet. All right, let's bring our clip in and look at that geometry we just created. Everything looks good. We have our hinge. We have the channel for our spring to set in. Let's only do one more thing, and that's make our hinge pin. All right. So I'm going to go find my sketch that we used in the earlier video for the, uh, the diameter of that hinge. I'm going to just make that active again. We're going to extrude this circle. We're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of just a blind, we're going to change this up to a face. And we want to make this up to this face right here. We're going to do a second end position because the hinge pin is going to go both ways. Instead of blind, up to face. And we're going to choose that face as well. Hit the green check mark. And there we go. We can go ahead and make this sketch inactive. And we can see we have all the parts we have for the top of our carabiner pin, except for the spring, which I think we're just gonna model all the springs together. But there you go. We've got our clip almost finished. If we scroll back just a little bit, let's make everything else active. We should be at this part. Now we've done with all the externals of the pen, we're ready to move on to the internals, which actually won't be near as daunting as we think. These videos have been a little bit longer than I expected, but rather than just blowing through it, I want to teach you through the process of how to gain some modeling tools maybe you didn't know you had access to before. You guys are awesome. 
stay awesome. If you like this video, if it's been helpful, if your teacher making it watch it, make you watch it, I'm sorry, but it's just, I'm sorry. I just, if, if it's making you watch it, meh, it is what it is. But if you like this video and it's helpful, or if you have some comments for me, leave them down in the comment section. I would love to hear back from you guys. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.